The ongoing defamation trial has already revealed several shocking details about Amber Heard and Johnny Depp's past relationship. Among other things, tidbits about the couple's shared penthouse on the top floor of the Eastern Columbia Building on Broadway, Los Angeles have piqued the curiosity of netizens lately. According to reports, Depp owned five penthouses in the same building between 2013 and 2016, and most of them were used by Heard's friends and relatives for free. One penthouse was used as a living space by Depp's longtime friend Isaac Barich. Heard's sister Whitney Henrik has also reportedly lived in one of the penthouses between 2014 and 2015. And then there were Heard's pal Rocky Pennington and her then husband Joshua Drew who also stayed at the property. And according to Amber's friends, they were aware she was getting assaulted by Depp while the pair were together. But, it just seems pretty unlikely that they would have known their friend was getting assaulted repeatedly and just stayed there without doing anything about it, don't you think? Well, this week Amber's old friends, Pennington and Drew testified in court about their knowledge of a specific incident, and a lot of fans didn't think their story was credible. Speaking to the court on Wednesday, Drew gave an account of an incident that allegedly occurred in May 2016. According to Drew, he initially heard a loud slam and later learned that it was a wine bottle that Depp allegedly threw at the former couple's apartment door. The former neighbor of Depp and Heard also revealed that there was a lot of yelling by the Pirates of the Caribbean star. Meanwhile, Drew's ex-wife Rackle Rocky Pennington also claimed that she received a text from Heard that night when the altercation reportedly began. Pennington claimed to have gotten between Amber and Johnny to guard her friend at the time. She further testified that Depp had allegedly destroyed multiple objects in his apartment and that she also observed injuries to Heard's face. As the case has grabbed public attention and consistently hogged headlines, several fans Fans and supporters of Depp have taken to trolling Heard's friends, calling them freeloaders as they apparently lived rent-free in the Edward Sisorhan Stars California real estate. One such user tweeted, Here we have hashtag Amber Heard's little clan of flying monkeys. She claimed Johnny isolated her, yet she had her friends living with them in his penthouses rent-free and called the cops on him when they knew their free ride was over. Another user added, So, the freeloaders continued to stay in Johnny's homes in spite of the knowledge that he abused her. Nice friends. Hashtag justice for Johnny Depp. While the users do have a point, everyone is looking forward to the thoughts of the jurors. But before that comes, tell us what you think. 